Gosh, that had to be one of the most suspenseful scenes in the film. It's such a great scene. And wait till you see how the Terminator gets the TX off the roof of the car. It's so cool. Now, what's also cool is we have the major players that are in that scene. Kristana Loken. Hey, how's it going? Great. The man who called all the shots, of course, director Jonathan Mostow is also here. And, of course, my co-host. Arnold Schwarzenegger and the star of T3. All right, guys, let me ask you this. It's been 12 years since the last film came out. So what, what was the major thing? What took so long? I only came on a few years ago. Before that, you'd probably have to talk to the lawyers. Yeah. I think this was a very complicated <laughs> deal. Um, and, uh, you know, the rights for this movie were, were tied up in all wow. sorts of legal, legal limbo for mm -hmm. many, many years. What was your first meeting like? Well, I went over to his house, and Arnold answered the door, and... There he was, larger than life. He gave me a bowl of oatmeal, which yeah. is still the best, <laughs> best oatmeal I've ever had in my life. Are you life. serious? Yeah. That's funny. And uh, we talked about the movie over oatmeal. And it's, what uh, was it about Jonathan that convinced you this was the man to do it? This movie, is, it's very important that you understand that you uh, have to be an expert in suspense, in story, in developing the characters, in action, in visual effects, in stunts, in all of those things. So there are very few people around that can do all of those things. And Jonathan was definitely the one that uh, was our favorite. So we had you and then the director, and then you needed the female, who's the TX, Kristana Loken. Kristana, tell me about the call when, when they said, you know, you're going to be auditioning for the Terminator movie. What was that like? My agents thought that it was a great role for me uh, with my size and physique and, and height and voice and everything, and it was just kind of a right marriage. And... I had always been a fan of the uh, first two, so went in first a couple times and read for Jonathan, and then I had some very strange uh, physical auditions with him. It was a lot of, you know, running to the end of the room, stopping, turning, looking, jumping over the box, falling down, getting up, punching, kicking, that sort of thing, and um, he really didn't say anything during that whole process, so I thought to myself, Am I falling the way he wants me to fall? Am I looking the way he wants me to look? Uh, but I guess, as we know, it ended up working out. Jonathan was actually the one that looked at, uh, I mean, endless amount of women. I mean, you... you, you uh, yeah, I, I couldn't get any sympathy from my friends because we looked at over 10,000 actresses, you know, <laughs> beautiful women from all over the world. And I, yeah, that's a tough job, but yeah, there's sure. no pity for that. Yeah, I remember that uh, uh, I was skiing in Sun Valley and Jonathan sent me the videotape of the top six contenders. And I got the videotape and I invited that afternoon all of my skiing buddies. There was like 15 guys who Arnold. came over to the house and I, <laughs> I put the video this. in and I said, let's, <laughs> let's all together now make a decision. I'm curious how much we are in sync with this whole thing. Oh. I had no idea who was on this video yet, I, 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 nothing. So we put the video in and it was very clear, right? As soon as we went through all six, it was very clear that Kristana was the one that everyone wanted to be with. So I mean, it was it was very clear. So, so we said, okay. So I called John and I said, you know, this is Kristana Locken that uh, that uh, everyone here thought was absolutely fantastic, and I thought that she looked so pretty, and her movements and the way she does her kicks and her fighting and all this stuff is extraordinary. She comes already with a background of you know athletics and and, and all this, and he said, well, that's the one that is my favorite. So we all were kind of uh, in sync with that. Wow. Chris, wow. you had no idea, huh? No, thanks for sharing that story with me, Arnold. That's a really great story. I can just have a good visual of that. <laughs> All these guys sitting around. No, that's great. And I know you did get a little black and blue, and I believe Jonathan <laughs> has some evidence of this. Jonathan? Well, it's, it's one of the sort of the, the things you feel a little bit guilty when you do a movie like this. One day, Kristana came to me, and she handed me a Polaroid, and it was her entire backside naked, and it was pretty much black and blue. Stop it. Yeah, I felt really bad. Chris. But you know what? The magnetism scene looks great, so, you know, <laughs> yeah, a little pleasure with pain. Never hurt anybody. No, and I think she's recovered just fine. Um, and, guys, I wanted to ask you, too, you know, she has that incredible, basically it's like a machine gun arm. You know, how does that work? Is it a prosthetic and then later you go into, uh, you know, it's computer generated when it's spinning and that sort of thing? Because people watch that and they're like, how did they do that? Well, it's a mixture of, of technologies. I mean, the, the, uh, the key thing in a, in a movie like this is never use the same technology twice in a row. So we're always mixing stuff up so the audience doesn't quite understand how we're doing it to create the illusion of it being real. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's computer generated. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a prosthetic created by Stan Winston Studios. Um, and, uh, you know, 
more than that, I don't want to tell you because yeah. you know, I don't want to <laughs> let all the magic out. But that was the incredible thing about the powers that the TX, the female Terminator, has. Because that's what makes it so threatening. Because it is, uh, she has, it, the Terminator, the model that I play, I have to go and find the guns if I want to use guns. Like in the first Terminator, mm -hmm. I had to go into the gun shop and you know get the guns and all this. But she doesn't. She can produce any weapon at any given time out of her hands. Mm -hmm. It's pretty really incredible. Wish, yeah, go ahead, Chris. I really wish I had some of those powers in my day-to-day -day life, I'll tell you that <laughs> much. <laughs> I'm sure you do. But, Chrisana, how cool was it seeing yourself on screen, you know, with once it's all done and, and seeing, like, your arm and yourself? I mean, it must have been incredible. It's been a dream come true. This whole journey really has been. It's been a wild ride, and I've just been mm -hmm. grateful and enjoyed every minute of it. I mean, to to do a film of this size and then see it all come together and and work with someone like Arnold and feed off of his energy so empowering and to to you know be able to create with Jonathan I mean overall it's just been such a great experience well it is a great movie the result the end result is just terrific and uh, Kristana thank you so much for joining us from New York My pleasure. Jonathan thanks for joining us and thank Arnold you. you stick around okay and we're gonna go to a break we'll be right back